morning. Welcome to the program. Music and Sports Special. Very clear, very clear this morning. Coming up from culture. Get them off. Get cocaine off the system. And it is said out there in uh, Zurich. Anyone who controls a soccer, anyone in the world, should be on the lookout for those who spike the system with cocaine. It is bad, it is bad. Get them off, get them off. He fights against it. And apart from just cocaine, FIFA has again declared that just like other sporting bodies, anyone that spikes the system with any kind of drug will be hammered. And if you don't know, you will know this morning. Some players have used cocaine in getting themselves very, very high so that they can score goals. Now FIFA is making it public and says that their names must be told you. Welcome to the program as we expose those who have used cocaine in making the headlines in soccer. Get them off, get them off. Bad boys. Hear me, hear me. This Rasta man that you are hearing singing this morning said that he went somewhere to watch a game and I saw them taking cocaine. And uh, somehow they started misbehaving. Don't ask me what a Rasta man took before he went to watch a match. But he saw those who used cocaine and knew that they used uh, something unholy, something bad, something not approved. Uh, and now he confesses what he saw them use uh, and how they behaved. Uh. Just listen, 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 listen. Neither clean them boots, may God neither wash them dirty foot. They couldn't wash their boots after the match because of cocaine. Tell them again, brother. As them start to sniff the cocaine, them no want to change them clothes again. Neither clean them boots, may God neither wash them dirty foot. Yes, it was a tournament. They couldn't wash their clothes for the next match because of cocaine. Cocaine Couldn't even wash their boots. Couldn't even wash their dirty legs. Ah, too bad. A Rasta man saw that. Don't ask me, don't ask me, don't ask me. What the Rasta man himself took in saying that. Eh? What did he just say? Speaking in tongues? Well, uh, if I say that they're all bad, marijuana, cocaine. They are all bad. Get the cocaine off. And FIFA is speaking this morning. And FIFA says that we must tell you this. Cocaine, cocaine is a stimulant of the central nervous system. It is also an appetite suppressant. And it gives rise to what medics describe as euphoric sense of happiness and increased energy. And so you just see somebody celebrating when a goal has not been scored. That's cocaine walking, eh? Or before the match starts, you just find a man shaking, shaking terribly. Just remember what uh, Maradona did before Nigeria took on uh, Argentina in 1994. You can now start the count with me this morning. If I say that this has been made public, his name is Jonathan Bacini. He was born on the 6th of June 1975 in Livorno. And he's an Italian professional footballer, a midfielder. He played for Siena in Serie A. And on the 22nd of September 2004, Bacini tested positive for cocaine. He was suspended for nine months. Well, let's tell you when he returned. He still continued taking cocaine. And tested positive again in January 2006. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder why he didn't learn. Wonder what example you're setting for the youth. And what kind of example did Mark Bosnich set for other goalkeepers? Well, Mark Bosnich was born on the 13th of January 1972 in Fairfield and New South Wales in Australia. The goalkeeper, the goalkeeper from Australia, you recall, was at the time the first choice goalkeeper for Chelsea. He also earned money in goal for Aston Villa and also Manchester United out there in England. But in September 2002, his career had to hit rock bottom in a big way when he tested positive for cocaine use. Chelsea sacked him. No nonsense. 
And the English FA descended on him when they banned him for nine months. Them no one change them clothes again. Neither clean them boots. May God neither wash them dirty foot. Well, those I would know Joseph Guardiola. We tell you that many times over. He behaved in a way so many people could not understand in Spain. Joseph Guardiola. He was the captain of Barcelona at the time. But I tell you this. His story till this day is punctuated by the use of cocaine. After living at Barcelona in the year 2001, the player, the player, suffered a four month ban for the use of cocaine. He tested positive for cocaine use. Yes, I talk about the white powder. And he talk about the story of goalkeeper René Huguta. Ah, Huguta. He was a goalkeeper who left at the ball. Flying into the net, and when people thought he had missed it to the hand, he just threw the legs up from behind and sent the ball out of uh, the way to the net, so to speak. People said that what a great style. Something else was working on him, my brother. Well, now you get uh, He was born on the 28th of August 1966 in Medellin, in Colombia. The former Colombian goalkeeper played 69 matches, I must tell you, and scored three goals. But he was uh, sent to jail in 1993 because he became a distributor of cocaine. Distributor. And in another scandal, he tested positive for the use of cocaine in 2004, November 23, to be precise. And that was when he was playing in Ecuador. Sometimes I sit and wonder, I wonder where them ambition gone. What kind of ambition? Learn, learn, the cocaine again. Unholy, unholy, unholy. Them soft, them Illegal. The cocaine them Adrian Mutu. His name is not complete without putting the word cocaine. Soft, Adrian Cocaine Mutu. Cocaine Adrian Cocaine Mutu was born on January 8, 1979 and he's a Romanian footballer. A strike of great grace. Adrian Mutu was a fine player for Chelsea. But I tell you this, in September 2004, his story was punctuated when he failed a drug test for cocaine. He was sacked, he was sacked. He also received a 7 month ban. And a 20,000 fine from the English Football Association after Chelsea asked him to go. Booted him out, showed him the door, dismissed him, shoved him aside, disgraced him out of uh, the field. Cocaine got him off indeed. Wonder what example you're setting for the youth. Hey, hey, what them think about you? Now let's talk about Maradona. What do you think about him? What kind of example has he set for the youth? Oh, Diego, fine player on the field, but out of the field, cocaine, cocaine. Diego Maradona, you recall, from the early 90s to about 2005, and who knows if he statistically does it. I want to believe he doesn't anymore. Spend great time, great time in different hospitals in different countries are fighting cocaine addiction. He visited uh, detox clinics uh, in Cuba and also Switzerland and also in his native country, Argentina. Apart from the negative effect on his image globally, Diego Maradona also suffered uh, a heart attack uh, coming uh, from cocaine overdose. And of course, you recall he was at the time admitted uh, into the intensive care unit of a hospital uh, in Buenos Aires, Argentina. I recall fans gathered and cost cocaine. And those who gathered were those who said they belonged to the church of Diego Maradona. And so, you leave, allow me to use it this way, the church of our Lord Jesus Christ. And you now become a member of the church of Maradona. And you hear that, uh, your Lord, your Lord. 
place in a hospital for cocaine use. <laughs> what could cause that kind of thing? When you now worship a man who worships cocaine, and then you go to the hospital where he's been treated for cocaine. Cocaine overdose. There's something about Maradona I don't forget. He once tried himself out as a coach. And the one thing he did as a coach was that he saw a referee and just poured water on the referee. He was then coach of the World Old Boys in Argentina. Asked why he did what he did, Maradona told a journalist out there. He just wanted to see how men are dressed in black behave when water is poured on them. Ah, cocaine. If anyone tells you good evening in the morning, ah, cocaine. I sit, I sit and wonder always uh, what they want to achieve by using cocaine or any kind of drug in sport. Uh. Because at the end of the day, you will be banned uh, for some time or banned for life. Uh. It depends on uh, how they rule against you. And in any case, uh, your name will be in the record books forever as someone uh, who used uh, illegal, unlawful substances in achieving goals. And that's why FIFA says uh, you must play fair and play clean. Uh, and other sporting bodies have also said the same thing. Preach the gospel, preach the gospel. Anyone who wants to achieve a greatness uh, through sports uh, must come clean. Uh, like lawyer said, if you are coming to equity, don't come with cocaine, come with clean hands. Lawrence Domingo is my name. That's the program for today. Do have a super, super day. And of course, uh, keep it away, keep it away. You can kick the habit if you are into it. In boxing, uh, Bernard Hopkins did uh, and still became a world champ. You can count yourself in if they've counted you out. That's the program. And do remember, a Rasta man saw footballers taking cocaine. Bye bye now. Waking up in the morning in the be well Quite honest with you, I ain't really sleep well You ever feel like your train of thought's been derailed? That's when you press on, lean in Half the population just waiting to see me fail Yeah, right, you better off trying to freeze hell <laughs> Some of us do it for the females And others do it for the retail But I do it for the kids, life through the time we're in on Every time you fall, it's only making your chin strong And I'll be in your corner like Nick, baby Till the end of when you hear a song from that big lady until the referee rings the bell Until both your eyes start to swell Until the crowd goes home What we gon' do, y'all? Give him hell Time to hell